what are you talking about? It's normal that you feel hot because I'm feeling I'm hot. Char feeling. Feeling lang chara. Let's go. Welcome back. It's another day. Yes, and we're here in the Kotai Central where our hotel is located, isn't that right? Yes, exactly. So yeah. as you can see, we are surrounded by these malls that you can um, enjoy shopping at if you when you come here. So you have plenty of options for clothing, jewelry, food. So there's quite a bit here. But today, we're not going to focus here. We're actually going to go where, hon? Hello one. Kolo yes. Yeah, we're gonna go eat egg tart. Yes, the famous egg tart. Uh, egg, 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 egg. Yeah. The famous egg tart from Lord Stowe's Bakery, which was uh, founded in 1985, I think. And they took a Portuguese egg tart and they made it better. <laughs> Actually, so, we can get it from San Malo, do they have a shop there? They have a shop in San Malo, I think they have a shop in Taipa, and yes. they have a shop in the Venetian, which is right across the street from us. But so. we wanted to go where it is actually it, originated. Yes, the original location, so tag along so and let's go get an egg bring you there, yeah. Yeah, let's tag you along and let's go get an egg talk, shall we? that we get on a while ago we are now here at the Kolowan village, Kolo bus, village. And the bus stop the bus stop is there yes so yay yeah egg tarts are that away egg tart, egg tart, egg tart. okay so we're finally here we're actually at Lord Stowe's bakery uh, I said earlier it was 1985 correction is 1989. What happened was Lord Stowe, the guy who created the famous cacao egg tart, uh, he was trying to make the original Portuguese egg tart, but apparently he didn't have enough egg, so he created something a lot different, which is a lot sweeter and better tasting. And ever since then, it's been going crazy. Now, normally you're going to see a massive line going out this door all the way down to the the street and pop sometimes depending on the time of year possibly all the way to the bus stop just to get egg tarts from this store and the best the best time to enjoy these egg tarts is when they're nice hot and fresh so let's go get them yay finally yes finally so Finally here, we got our egg tarts. So we decided only to get one each because normally if we're if we come out here we're gonna get quite a few so they're that good. So yes, look at that. I mean it's just gorgeous. Alright, so So this is the Kaluan part of Macau. It's so refreshing here. Oh, look at the view and the air. Look at the view and the air. It's like a, a... It's really peaceful compared to the hustle and bustle of Taipa and the Kota Strip, yeah? Yeah. So yeah, if you come out here, uh, Kolawan originally was an island by itself and you had a lot of Portuguese uh, living here, even back in the 1800s. And 
the feel here is more laid back, more it's relaxed, sibling. more relaxed, more laid back. And yeah, it's just a great area to escape the hustle and bustle of the casinos as well as Macau itself. So come out here and get an egg tart, get an ice cold coffee or tea or a hot drink if you wish, and just sit back and relax and enjoy the view. So after finishing our delicious egg tarts that we got at Lordstow's Bakery, which we strongly recommend you try when you get here, not sponsored, we decided to walk around Kolawan Village and enjoy ourselves. Unfortunately for us, it began to rain, so we had no choice but to head back to the Venetian and Sands Kotai Strip, where we decided to just walk around and, well, window shop. So now that we're done walking around the Venetian, we're going to head back to our hotel at the Sands Kotai Central. So to get there, it's actually quite a nice little footbridge, so you don't have to worry about going outside and being in the hot sun or getting hit by a bus. So. Also, if you get lost, don't worry so much. There's a lot of casinos that actually have a map of where you're at, and it's also a lot of them are interactive. So if you're looking for a specific shop, hopefully you can find it. Taipa Village is a culturally diverse landmark destination that offers visitors a taste of the regional authentic Macau. It offers tourists and locals alike with a genuine relaxed experience through myriad heritage attractions, innovative dining establishments, unique shopping experiences, and diverse arts and entertainment offerings. Strolling along the narrow streets and lanes of the lovely old district, you'll see a lot of historic buildings that offer you a glimpse of Macau's old-time village life. The 
famous egg tart Macau can be purchased here at the Flea Market Road at Lord So's Bakery if you can't make it out to Colawan. Though we strongly recommend that you go out there. There is a Starbucks here and several other coffee shops so you can sit down and relax after having a coffee or an egg tart. You can walk up the steps near the Starbucks and head towards Our Lady of Carmel Church. Built in 1885, this church stands on the hill overlooking Taipa Village and the restored mansions of old Taipa Praia. This is a wonderful spot to take photos and to wander around. Next to the church is Carmel Garden, which it follows a formal European design and it has a vine-covered gazebo with fountains and stone benches. This is a great area to sit down and relax or, as well tourists would do, take some pictures. From here, you can follow a zigzag walkway all the way down where the mansions are. These mansions date back to the 1920s and have been beautifully restored and now house the Taipa House Museum. Next to that, you'll find a pond that looks out towards the casinos. This is a wonderful area to sit down with that special someone and just enjoy the peaceful surroundings. It's even more exquisite at night where the lights from the casinos reflect on the water. We strongly recommend you come here to unwind and relax. Or because while we're tourists and we're being so, you know, touristy, take photos like these. <laughs> Well guys, we hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button down below and please leave a comment on what you liked and what you would like to see and if you have any questions. Until next time, stay safe and take care.